With version 1.4 just around the corner, there is a lot of content coming with it. With this much amount of content coming out, it can get overwhelming to keep track. The game UI definitely doesn't make it easier. Here is where I come in. I am here to provide you the entire calendar of October with everything marked down date by date. Full disclosure, the exact date mentioned in this video will be based on the US time zones. And finally, while some dates are officially confirmed by Hoyo themselves, there are a few dates that I'm not completely sure, so it will be some educated guess. Therefore, if a certain date I listed about an event that is 100% sure, I will mark it with this red color border in the video. I don't know why, but Hoyo doesn't like giving out the official dates for everything. This is specifically true for anything in part 2. Most importantly, I have a pinned comment in case anything I listed is wrong or Hoyo changes any event start time like they did in version 1.3. I will talk about all the events, all the characters coming out, 1.6 character drip marketing, and the 1.5 livestream. Let's begin. Everything happening in Honkai Star Rail in the month of October. October 9th, weekly reset for Sim Universe. October 11th, patch 1.4 phase 1 goes live. Technically, late night October 10th for players on the Eastern Standard Time Zone. The highly anticipated Jung Leo will finally make her debut. Good luck to those who plan on summoning her. May you avoid all the Curse of Himikos and Ultra Instinct Dodge from any Yang Chings. Coming along is also our favorite event, Gift of Odyssey. Log in 7 days to earn 10 tickets. A new Stagnant Shadow stage is also available. This one should be for the new Fire characters coming in Phase 2, Topaz and Milk Powder. New Trailblazer story mission, we're going back to Bellabok. We will also get Jing Liu's companion mission, I'm pretty sure Yang Chain is going to get beat up again. And finally, one of the coolest content that we never asked for but we're getting anyways. In the Ethereum Wars, the event to catch them all. October 16th, a new cycle for Memory of Chaos. This cycle should favor Jing Liu's kits, also a new Sim Uni reset. October 20th, Planet Fissure. Double event drop rates. October 23rd, also a new Sim Uni reset. October 27th, Phase 2 of 1.4 goes live. Sila and Topaz character plus their Light Cone banners will both be dropping at the same time. But don't worry, they should be separate. This date is because 1.4 is only 5 weeks instead of the usual duration of 6 weeks. In a regular duration patch, Topaz and Sila should have been on November 1st. But in this case, shorter patch means shorter banner duration as well. Jingle's banner ending on the 27th makes us much more convincing. October 27th, Planner Infinity, a simulated universe event. I am not quite sure about this one, but here's my reasoning. June 28th was when Luo Chao was dropped as part 2 of 1.1. Along with his release was part 2 events called Stellar Flare. Keep the same day parts in mind. August 29th was when Kafka was dropped as part 2 of 1.2. Along with her release was part 2 event Underground Treasure Hunt. September 20th, Fushuan. This time the 1.3 part 2 event Space Station Task Force wasn't released along with her. It was 5 days later. So other than Fushuan, the 1.1 and the 1.2 events both arrived with their respective characters. So, I believe this will be the same for Planner Infinity, simply because of the short patch duration being 5 weeks. Moving on, October 30th, New Simulated Universe Weekly Reset and New Memory of Chaos Cycle. October 31st, Drip Marketing for 1.6 characters should begin. The exact timing should be October 31st at exactly 12am midnight for Eastern Standard Time Zones. I actually have no idea who the new character will be for 1.6. On a completely unrelated topic, do you people ever get the simulated universe occurrence? I've got her once my entire time playing this game. Like what is the ratio in her appearance? Just wondering. I am going to slightly go past October because this date is very important to know. November 1st and November 2nd will be the other 1.6 characters for the drip marketing. Finally, November 3rd, 1.5 livestream. I am fairly confident in this date even though it's not officially confirmed by Hoyo. Every single live stream so far has been on a Friday or a Saturday and are always 11 to 12 days away from the start of the new patch. Since we all know 1.4 will end on November 15th, then 12 days before that is November 3rd. 
This also falls in line with live stream being on a Friday, for most cases. The 1.1 live stream was on May 26th, a Friday, 12 days between the live stream and the patch going live. The 1.2 live stream was on July 8th, a Saturday, 11 days between the live stream and the patch going live. The 1.3 live stream was on August 18th, a Friday, 12 days between the live stream and the patch going live. This latest live stream, the 1.4 live stream, was on September 29th, a Friday. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, you'll find this video to be helpful. Let me just quickly read out the complete list. October 9th, Weekly Simulated Universe Reset. October 11th, 1.4 goes live. Available immediately would be Jingleo's character and Lycon banner, a new stack in the shadow stage, gift of Odyssey login events, new Trailblazer main story, Jingleo's companion mission, and Ethereum Wars. October 16th, a new cycle for Memory of Chaos and weekly reset for Sim Universe. October 20th, Planner Fissure, double drop rates. October 23rd, a new weekly simulated universe resets. October 27th, 1.4 Phase 2 goes live. Immediately available will be Sila and Topaz character and Lycone banner. Planner Infinity should also be live as well. October 30th, New Simulated Universe Weekly Reset and a new Memory of Chaos Cycle. October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd should be the drip marketing for 1.6 characters. November 3rd should be the 1.5 live stream. And that is everything for the month of October, slightly bleeding over to the month of November. If I missed anything or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. What are you most anticipating? Be sure to check the pinned comment for any time slot changes. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.